Hester Neal's sermon on loving God recently was amazing. But one thing that I took away from that message was a quote he had heard from one of his professors. He told him this, you're truly a servant when someone treats you like a servant and you don't react. So that might have messed me up just a little bit because if I look at my life and see how people treat me or even react to me, I get frustrated easily. What is their problem or they must have a problem with me or why did they ignore me? When at the end of the day, I have made their interaction with me all about me. Really, if I am a servant of Christ, I am never seen or noticed physically, but only in doing what I'm called to do without anyone seeing the man more than the words. John Wesley said this about what it means to be a true servant. Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways that you can, in all the places that you can, at all the times that you can, to all the people that you can, as long as you can. Jesus said this about being a servant right after his disciples had been arguing about who would be the greatest in his kingdom. In Mark 9, 35, he sat down, called the 12 disciples over to him and said, whoever wants to be the first must take last place and be the servant of everyone else. Man, that's a hard one for us to hear in America and to understand what he's saying. But we want to, be, we want to take full credit and for everyone to know what we did. What if we put Christ first in all things and just wanted his name and renown to be the cry of our hearts? What would life look like if we put our brother or sister ahead of ourselves and promoted them to be better than each of us? The world would look drastically different in so many ways. We live in a very me first world. What if we put him first and then others first? See, it becomes more of a life like Jesus and how he represented that for us, a life of serving others. See, even Jesus, fully God and fully man, washed his hard-headed disciples' feet. So this week, look at your attitudes, your actions and choices, and see if they reflect a servant heart for those around you. Because no better words will be heard one day than, well done, my good and faithful servant. Mm -hmm.